So you may have noticed that when I ask for an instance of a class and I ask Python to print it out, so print d12, it gives you this weird angle bracket thing. Um, it's not quite clear what's going on there, but there's a way to remedy that. So we're actually going to add a new method. Uh, and it's a special method with double underscores, double underscores R-E-P-R, -E repra, or representation. And this is a method that takes zero arguments in addition to self. And its job is to return the string representation of an object so that you can use it to debug later. So uh, what I'd really like for the representation of this die object is for it to say, hey, this is a die and how many sides it has. Uh, maybe die with, you know, percent s or percent d sides where d is our self.sides attribute. All right. So now I'm going to try to create a new d6, die equals 6, and I'm going to create a new d12 i equals 12. So now, when I ask for Python to print it out, so actually I'll do this, print d6, it will say it's a die with six sides. And equivalently, if I ask for the d12, it says a die with 12 sides. Now, I'm going to say d20 equals die of four. Ho, ho, ho. So, Obviously, you can check d20.sides is 4, which is not what a d20 should have. But of course, if I just ask Python, hey, what's a d20? It will say a die with four sides. So now you won't be. So now, if you define a repr method, you won't be confused. Oh, I thought it had this many sides, blah, blah, blah. You know, when you print it out, it will actually tell you instead of saying something weird. So if I delete. If I uh, not delete, let's comment this out, pretend it never happened, and try that again. D20 equals die with four sides. And then I print the D20. I get the, this uh, weird gobbledygook back. But just a pro tip, just always define a under underscore repra. An even fancier thing to do with the repra is instead of having like this weird English string, what I usually do is I make it such that what it prints out is valid Python code. Okay, so this is this is cool. Uh, D20 equals die of 20, right? So that when I print it, whoa, I can just copy paste this and have back another D20. So I can do d20.roll, it rolls 9. So yeah, I try to make these repr methods so that I can just copy paste and get instantly get back the same object I gave it to begin with. But that's not always easy to do. When, when I could do it, in this case, it just takes an integer argument. Uh, and it doesn't, mod it doesn't modify that attribute once it assigns it initially. You know, then it's easy to create a representation method that has this behavior. So let's call die equals die of four. Well, and you know, let's say I write a whole bunch of code, and then later on, I ask for, oh hey, what does that die have? It's a die of four. Pretty cool.